Hello, this is Adam with Wheel Guns for Wheelmen, and today we have the Ruger Max 9 yet again, but this time with an upgrade. And the upgrade is Galloway Precision's Maxis Short Stroke Trigger, and it is a very, very important upgrade in my opinion. <clears throat> so, I have the Ruger Max 9, which I've been carrying in a Vetter pocket locker, and Clear, visually inspect it. You can also stick your finger in there. It's not a bad practice, especially if you're like at home. Take the mag out. Now, as you can see, new trigger still has the blade safety in the center. It's black, but the majority of it is actually red. You can also get one that's just purely black all the way around. Uh, but the red one, uh, you know, it's the one that was available when I was ordering, and I think it's actually listed as like two dollars cheaper. Could be wrong, but um, I want the red one for that reason. Uh, now, um, the issue I had had, if you watched the last video, is the trigger that came with this gun, the factory trigger, had a lot of side-to-side -side lateral movement, lateral play in it. And if you put too much pressure on it laterally and pull back, it just literally wouldn't pull back. It would get out of its track, so to speak. Um... Well, this, as you can see, has no lateral play at all. Night and day difference. I love it. Also, um, the main reason they made it was that wasn't the selling point. The selling point is it's less initial travel. A lot less initial travel until you hit a wall. So it's a lot less creep um, in the trigger. A lot less initial travel. So it's a much smoother trigger pull. Um, for that first little bit, and then it's just a heavy wall, and then it's just a little bit extra travel. It's kind of heavy, but it's smooth, not too gritty, not much creep, and a lot less overall travel, and the reset might be a little bit better. I'm not sure. I didn't test the old one, <laughs> but it is a lot nicer. I would highly recommend it. Uh, it's about $35. Uh, when I bought it, so definitely worth buying. Um, made my accuracy improve quite a bit and got rid of that odd side to side lateral play issue. And then I would just like to bring up and go on a little mini rant tangent um, about something that happened while I was shooting this. Uh, has nothing to do with the trigger, but when I shot it last, it was at dusk because it gets so dark nowadays because it's December. And at dusk, I was out shooting, and I let it keep getting darker and darker, and I kept shooting. I put like 100 rounds through it with this new trigger. And I presented, I acquired my sight picture, and then I pulled the trigger, and boom, flash. And it had gotten quite a bit darker. The sun had just dipped down since I had reloaded my mags. and. I was kind of blinded by the muzzle flash on the short barrel and it obscured my you know front sight the green dot I could not acquire it I lost it and so I had to wait a second to shoot again and I could have shot faster um, if I wanted to uh, but I would have had to point shoot luckily I practiced point shooting so I can do that and I did end up doing that for the next magazine <laughs> instead of waiting I uh, did two or three shots at a time fairly quickly and I just acquired this front sight and then the next two I just held it steady and pointed with my thumb along the bore axis so I can just point where my thumb is boom that's how it works um it's not hard to get a fist size group out to about eight or nine yards doing that uh clearly at 25 yards you're not gonna be getting very good uh, accuracy when you're using your thumb to shoot versus sights but um yeah that's why you should practice point shooting because Maybe it's dusk when you have to, you know, shoot back in an assailant. And then you lose your sight picture because of the muzzle flash. Because when it's dark, you can actually see the, the flash. And so you should practice point shooting for that reason. Maybe your red dot falls off. Maybe your front sight walks itself out. Could be a lot of things. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I practice it quite often. Sometimes I do it kind of innately when I'm trying to see how fast I can shoot, especially from like a draw. Um, so, mini rant, 
hopefully uh, the review of the Maxis trigger was helpful. Um, please subscribe, like this video. See y'all next time.